When I was recently asked to review a pocketable RGB LED, I was like, FML, LOL. Huh? Hey guys, Omar here, and today we're looking at the Bowling BLP1. This is a small pocketable uh, RGB light, also LED. <laughs> gives you colors, it gives you a super bright light. And the thing I love most about this thing is its size. I mean, here it is next to my uh, Pixel XL. Here it is next to my iPhone R. And most LED lights I've gotten are bulky and uh, cumbersome, but this one fits right in your pocket or can fit in a camera bag. And it's great for that little burst of extra light. Now, I always love a product that you don't have to read the instructions, uh, unlike some cameras we get, but this one was pretty intuitive. Pushing buttons in, uh, switches up, switches down. And it's uh, got a great color range. It's got a dimmable switch. It's got a function switch that goes up and down. You could also push in uh, you know, the function button to change certain modes. It's also, of course, an LED light. It gives you a great temperature range that you can use for video and photography. And I actually used it to take a picture of my watch here. And I, here I set the white balance to be daylight uh, to match the outside. See the window back there? Now here I changed the white balance in camera and on the light to match the, the white balance I wanted on the watch. But I got some cooler temperatures coming through the window. And so you can play around with temperatures in camera and on this light for some fun photo effects. So how bright is the LED? Well, I don't work in nits or lumens or any other brightness. I understand exposures. So if for the settings you see below, uh, that's how bright this light can get. And here's what the camera looks like in natural light. Then I set my camera to 5.6 and that looks great. Actually even looks like an ad couple of things I would have liked to see, you know, controlling the light from the back when you see the labels is easy. If you're controlling the light from the front, uh, you won't know what mode you're in. Also, for me, the dim switch is backwards. I mean, I usually think of going up as increasing and down as decreasing, but everything's backwards here. The light has an interesting mount, which, a which has a bunch of screws everywhere, lets you mount in different, you know, directions and ways that you like. The light also comes with a mount that has two tighteners, one for the top, which will screw into the light and the other into the camera. But <laughs> what was strange was that mount wouldn't fit into my Sony a7 III. I then tried on the Fuji X-T2 and it also wouldn't go into the hot shoe. I didn't want to force it in, but it didn't fit at all. Then I tried the Canon 5D Mark IV and that fit like a glove. So <laughs> maybe that mount was made for DSLRs. Now I also did get this kit which came with a little belt clip or a little strap clip of some kind to hold keys or maybe the light itself. There's also a separate mount that says vlogger on it and this one uh, has kind of like a friction motion where you can move the light uh, and you can also increase or decrease the tension using a little wrench. I found it to be kind of strange, you know, uh, not very intuitive to tighten things. The weight of the light initially was, uh, you know, <laughs> a little too much for the mount. So I was trying to finagle the strength of one. And overall, I felt it had too much play, but it can be tightened with an Allen wrench. But you know how I feel about Allen wrenches. They make me angry. Anger! <laughs> no, guys, I'm okay. That was just the light right there. I'm okay. Just... So once you have the tension and everything set to how you like it, the light will stay on your camera. And this will fit on the mirrorless camera is fine. It fit on the Sony a7 III and also the Fuji X-T2. So maybe this will work a little better on your mirrorless camera. I found this vlogger mount really well made and great metal, but I just found it a little annoying to use. It would spin around. It doesn't seem to be what I need. So you can actually tighten it so it won't spin around, but then there's nothing to tighten it onto the hot shoe. So I thought that was a little weird. Now where this light really shines <laughs> is in the controls. It's got really cool controls that work either quickly or slow, depending on how you use them. And you can actually change the saturation of the light. You can actually pump it up to give it a little bit more flavor or lighten it up. So it's got great uh, saturation controls. Although the saturation controls seem to change the hue. So you'll have to play around with that. And if you hit the set button again, you have like a fun mode. This is a candlelight mode. So it, you can actually, you know, mimic candlelight here. <laughs> Another fun mode is lightning mode, which you can use in your videos. It also has some fun color modes, but I wouldn't know what to do with those. The light's great to light up your YouTube videos. Uh, here it's about like 15 feet away and it can light it up. If you get it closer, it can saturate the wall a little bit more. If that's what you're looking for. It also has a great police mode. 
<laughs> which is great for some of your movies you're making. It's got firemen, it's got ambulance, and uh, you can play around with all those modes. So I was really impressed with this tiny little thing for its build quality, for its size, and also for not having a battery that you have to charge. With a USB-C cable, you can charge it, you can keep it in a camera bag, it packs a punch, it also has some great color effects you can use in video and in photography. And so for its price point, I think it's totally worth it. <laughs> Colors, police, candles, all in your pocket. Very cool little light. I look forward to uh, testing it out for photography and using it for video a little bit more. All right, I'll see you guys next time.